again, I'm Ward Snyder. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel. If you like it, hit the like button. Please subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming. You've seen many videos on the forehand. If there's a the more powerful wing for the average tennis player is the forehand. The forehand's a little more complicated. That's why there's so many videos on the forehand. What I'm trying to demonstrate to you is the importance of laying the wrist back early. The modern player creates the lag by the rotation, but they're very relaxed, they're young, supple, etc. The, cl the club player around the world cannot do that. The club player needs to lay it back right away, right here. If you lay it back and you swing from the inside, then my racket will stay on the ball longer through contact. You can finish by framing it like this, or I prefer to rotate and have the elbow point at my target. So I'm gonna show you a couple different forehands right now. The first one would be just framing it. Like that. From the inside, there. Out in front, here's my frame. Now the other way is finish with the elbow to the target. cooperating. One more. Very important to make that unit turn. Turn, then rotate through. Turn, through. Those are good forehands. Don't forget, in my YouTube channel, there's a, a great video with Mike Sprengelmeyer going over the fundamentals on the conventional linear forehand. Strongly recommend you take a look at that. And watch this and you will see, again, my keys, laid back wrist, shoulder turn, early contact. And if I swing from the inside, then the racket stays on the ball longer. If I don't swing from the inside, I don't lay my wrist back, then I slap across the line of flight, which makes for very inconsistent shots, not enough power. Thanks for watching my YouTube channel.